please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for our national anthem. Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner almost 200 years ago. He called America the land of the free and the home of the brave. Those words are as true today as they were then. Throughout this nation's history, America's soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen have bravely answered the call to defend our freedom, to aid our friends and allies, and to turn back aggressors. We can never fully repay our debt of gratitude to the more than 650,000 American servicemen who died in battle or the 1.4 million who were wounded. We can, however, recognize and thank the 25 million veterans still living today. These words are inscribed on the Korean War Memorial in Washington, D.C. Our nation honors her sons and daughters who answered the call to defend a country they never knew and a people they never met. Those words equally apply to the many of our World War I, World War II, Vietnam War, and Gulf War veterans as well. They apply to today's active service members, today's tomorrow's veterans who are helping to maintain peace throughout the world. Today, it is our privilege to say thank you to all the American veterans to let them know that we appreciate them for their service and honor and honor them for their sacrifices. The price of freedom is high. We cannot afford to forget those willing to pay it. Today, we celebrate America's veterans for keep, keeping this nation the land of the free and the home of the brave. Okay, Army, stand up, Army.
Air Force. Stand up, Air Force. There we go. Dictionary. Read it means the power to or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. On Veterans Day, we honor our nation's veterans. These people have sacrificed their freedom so that we can do our hours. We have asked Bell City Elementary students what they think freedom means. Thank you and enjoy the interview. Edward Roosevelt said, In the truest sense, freedom cannot be bestowed and must be achieved. Can you tell me what freedom means? I don't know what that means. Can you tell me what freedom means? 
What? It means like I'm a, it means like I'm ready to go. I don't know. I forgot. Roosevelt said that in the truest sense, freedom cannot be bestowed, it must be achieved. Can you tell me what freedom means? It means you can do what you want. It means you're free from something. It means you have the freedom to do whatever you want. Can you tell me what you think freedom means? A free ride. This is what you can do. Oh, uh, you can do whatever you want, basically. Ready? Can you tell me what freedom means? It means to like be free, like a right to be to do what you want. Franklin Roosevelt said, "In the truest sense, freedom cannot be bestowed; it must be achieved." Can you tell me what freedom means? Like a free state where you can do anything except your legal stuff. Can you tell me, to your best knowledge, what freedom means? Freedom is to be away from something that is terrible that you don't like. Like freedom, you don't get to you get to do what you want, and nobody gets to tell you that you can't. It means like that I don't, like to have rights and stuff, and to have the right to do things, but not everything, like. We have laws and stuff. Alright, today I'm going to be interviewing my grandpa to ask him some questions about the military. Number one, what branch did you serve in? The Army. Okay. Number two, how many years did you serve from joining to left? Uh, three years. Three years. What were some reasons you joined the military? Well, the main reasons because Uncle Sam sent me a letter and said, uh, I want you. I was drafted. Okay. <laughs> Number four, four. Did you ever experience any injuries while serving? Yes, I did. What were the injuries? I got my back hurt in Vietnam. How did you tell your family and friends about joining the military? How did they react? I just told them that I got my <laughs> papers and I had to go. And pretty much that was it. What was basic training like? It was pretty tough. We had a, a deal where Christmas fell in there at the end of it. So what most people did in 12 weeks, we had to do in 10 weeks. You got lucky, I don't know, it's pretty rough. We'd have to get up at three o'clock and not go to bed till 10 o'clock. What are some reasons, what are some things you remember most about your deployment? Mm, that's kind of a tough one. <laughs> uh, probably uh, just Vietnam in itself. How far they backward they were uh, when we was over there. What was your favorite kind of MRE? That I didn't. Uh, it's probably a chip beef. Oh, sounds even gross. <laughs> what is your what is your advice on somebody that is wanting to join the military? I think it'd be good for them. Teach them how to grow up and be on their own. How did you stay in touch with your family and friends? Writing letters. Do you have any like stories or things you would like to share? Uh, no. Okay. Thank you for your time.
service. Veterans Day, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. As Superintendent of Dusty Schools, we appreciate all of your service.